What is that? The gummy worm donut. We are the Crawfords. We have six kids and are hiking the Appalachian Trail, a 2,200 mile hike from Georgia to Maine. We don't know if we can finish it, but we are doing it together. Lovely. How many? One, two, three, four, five. Here you go. Ooh, thank you. We are just finishing this amazing breakfast. And what do we got here, Cami? We have a package. I, I'm actually pretty proud of this. I had to, so this was two and a half months ago. I had to figure out what our ETA was to get this package, and I was one day off. Are you serious? Yes. Wow, look at that. So, we are on schedule, I guess. Kind of. Um, so yeah, this is our third of four resupply packages, I believe. Um, I wouldn't care so much about actually getting this, but it has like cigars in it, so it's actually kind of valuable to us. Well, let's open it up. Come on. All right. We got some salmon jerky. Oh, yeah. Beef sticks, uh, granola bars, moon cheese that I actually think is disgusting. Oh, man, they're not packed enough. Oh. Look at those. Hopefully they're okay. There's our cigars. We got some fruit sticks. We got more beef jerky. Everyone is very sick of at this point. So we shipped ourselves uh, the types of things that were really expensive to buy. Yeah. At regular grocery stores, hoping that it would save us money. And it's more been a hassle than anything, but but honestly, it's the cigars that like are worth it for us. We have to get ready to say goodbye to these people and this amazing breakfast mm -hmm. and head out into what looks like it could be a rainy day. All right, uh, we just made a sacrifice here and packed the electronics in the Ziploc so that the Cigars can go in the crush proof Tupperware type thing. What do you want to say? It was so fun having people stay at my house. Well, we really, we really enjoyed it. So thank you guys. You're welcome. And it's starting to rain a little bit, but we are heading for the trail. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Okay, you want to be in the video too? What do you want to say in the video? That's why I'd say that I can't really come out of the car because I forgot to bring my shoes. Oh, yeah, your shoes are not on, so mm -hmm. you get to stay right there. Mm -hmm. And I'm stuck in my pajamas okay. for the rest of the day. Oh, that sounds kind of nice, actually. Hope you have a good day in your pajamas. Okay. Did you want to say anything? Um, I just bought my shoes that I didn't want them in the house. All right, we'll see you guys later, okay? Okay. Bye. bye. All right, can you say bye, thank you? Bye, thank you. <laughs> can you say it? Bye. What I really liked about that house is um, I really liked the breakfast, the biscuits were really good and stuff. I really enjoyed taking a shower and then they made sure that we each had a bed and there was really soft blankets. Here we are, back on the AT. That shower that I had at their house was so nice and it was so nice to wash our clothes because they started to like, we just like smelled like mildew, I felt like. All in all, it was a great experience. We were 
about two minutes on the trail and this guy zonked out. He falls asleep like whenever there's rain. I think he like zones out. Yeah. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Hey, like there's like 30% chance of rain at 1 p.m. Mm-hmm. That's it. Old mud pit. This is the Appalachian Trail. Okay, we got the sign here, hiker warning, you're about to enter the roller coaster. Built, blah, blah, blah. have a great ride, and we will see you at the Blackburn Trail Center. I really hope the Blackburn Trail Center has some cotton candy for us when we're done with this ride. Apparently it's just a bunch of ups and downs, which is like what we do anyway, so. Here we go! Going northbound or southbound? <laughs> Looks like he's heading east. All right, hike your own hike. Bye, frog. Bye, frog. Mm -hmm. Well, he's a turtle. I know they seem kind of like frogs in a way. We're having mm. chips oh, really? and guacamole and salsa and hummus and, and um, peas, sugar snap peas. When we get a lunch for the day of when we leave, like a town or a house, it can be, I can choose fresher things. And another thing is I only had to carry two lunches so I could get uh, more stuff and better stuff like salsa is really heavy but since I only had two lunches then I could kind of be a little bit uh, more choosier with what I got how does cookie monster eat chips <laughs> it all began when Sheila G, the passionate chocolate loving baker, took a treasured family recipe for fudge brownies and baked her way into a thriving business. Eden's carrying you? Yeah. Look at that! Oh, how much fun! Um, I'm really tired. I think it's because I stayed up kind of late last night. And, um, I'm gonna go back to carrying my backpack. I don't know how many miles I carried Rainier, but I think it was less than two but it feels a, like a lot more than that, especially because there was a lot of uphill. But it was really fun talking to it with him and singing with him. Look at this. 1,000 miles today. Check out one of the zeros. 1,000 miles. What did that mean? How does it feel after 1,000 miles? I feel kind of badass. 
Yeah. All right, I'm stepping over it, going more than a thousand miles. Oh, hey, what? Pizza. Oh, you want, dude, were you listening to my phone call? You want pizza tonight? Yeah. You do? <laughs> well, I think we're gonna have pizza. Ice cream, did you hear that too? Yeah. But listen, yeah. you can't tell the other kids. This is what happens, okay? We're supposed to do like 18 miles today, like good through hikers. And then we like look at the map and it says there's this like hostel at like 15 miles that for 20 bucks each adult will get you like a place to sleep pizza ice cream a shower maybe it's 30 bucks but it's like a shower that's right and all you can eat pancakes and all you can eat pancakes that's right so it's like how how can you say Oh, I'm just gonna get three more miles and forget about pizza. I'm just gonna have macaroni and cheese for the 40th time this month. And not to mention the fact what? that Rainier pooped through his shorts today. Peed through his pants. Peed through his pants. So you know it'd be really nice is to have some laundry. <laughs> no! So we do not have the resolve to walk past this place today, so we're gonna go tell the kids now. Okay, you ready to tell them? Yeah. Let's go tell them. All right, how would you guys feel about a nice bed, some pizza, and ice cream, and pop tonight, and a shower? All right, I just said, if we're gonna lay out some cash for this place tonight, I'm gonna need some help carrying the baby up these last three hills for the last four miles. And we have a new volunteer here. <laughs> Not too sure about this. First time. And a lot of weight. Hey, ready? Is seven ready? Yeah. We'll find out. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's gonna be heavy. <laughs> It's not as heavy as I thought. Maybe, like, actually a little heavier than my backpack. I said. Just wait till you get up that hill, kid. That's where we're going. Bear's Den, four miles. What is that? The gummy worm donut. Can I have one? We're staying yeah, at a hostel tonight worm. and we're gonna have breakfast tomorrow at the hostel. So we're eating our breakfast for tomorrow right now. Those look kind of mm -hmm. like they're all mashed up. Oh. Yep. The day's good. <laughs> we just came across another thousand mile sign. I'm not sure which one to trust. Okay, memory. Let's trust both of them. Good job. There we are, point one away. Seven has been carrying Rainier for four miles, which was a huge help for me and my feet. Rainier. Yeah. Did we make it? Yeah. There it is, right there. Yeah. We've done 13.7 miles. Carrying Rainier was easy at first, but going up the hill, I was sweating a lot. Yeah, and it got really hard, and I'm so glad we're here now. Wow, look at this place. It's like a castle. So cool.